and that looks pretty much nearly finished That's that. from the top it all looks to be capped maybe not the outside of the outside freight too I can't see that one because too many bees in the way this might be quite heavy do you want to lift over with it yeah <laughs> you don't actually know whether you're leaving a great sheet of wood off or whether you're actually oh, no. just lifting the super all, all right, right. Up, we up we go over we go over. I mean, they've sort of, so actually, look at they're almost finished. That one looks like it's nearly finished. It's got a capping at this end. Then the next one over is a new one and they've drawn that. So this tells us what there is a flow. Yep. So it's still happening. And then that's that. I mean, they're still just filling that as they, as they draw the cells out. I'll just pull those bits off. That's quite neatly drawn as well, isn't it? Yeah, and that hole there would probably stay there now. But as I say, I mean, this was a sheet of, I think, probably last year's foundation that didn't get drawn, so he put it in, well, as much as anything to see what they made of it, really, but they've, they've done it all right. I mean, there's a bit of a bit of faffing about that bit in the middle there that done too clever, but... We're getting on with it. I'm not going to shout at them for it. No. There's a bit of sealed stores at the outside, then there's a ring of pollen, and then there's sealed brood, and then there's fresh pollen in the middle, interspersed with the odd cell full of nectar. So mm. about the same on both on both sides. It's a bee with one leg stuck in the propolis. Oh. And it must have been there since the last time anybody lifted this frame out. Uh, that one, I mean it's a bit patchy, but it's it's patchy because it's been it's been packed with pollen that side's a lot better it's a lot better on that one and that i would say is fairly shortly going to emerge so assuming the flow is still on there'll be all them extra bees to process it so maybe we ought to be thinking about finding another super to go on here and i mean this this is this is looking pretty good actually yeah i mean they're the queen's still laying the bees are doing all the right things there's they're not clogging the whole brood nest up with food no, they've well. obviously moved a lot of it out of here up and upstairs into the supers because uh, the queen is presumably demanding the space to lay. She's a beautiful queen, isn't she? Yeah, nice stately progression across the combs, which is quite important because if the queen is calm and serene, then the workers tend to be calm and serene as well. And what you really don't want is them flying off the top of the frames into your into your face because uh, it's just well I mean apart from anything else it's just annoying for both you and them they're getting frustrated flying into your veil and you're getting fed up because you can't see what you're doing yeah I might actually turn this one round because they've they've done more on that side for a start anyway but the other side they've not got down much into the the Oh, corner yeah. at this side so if I turn it around then maybe they'll f finish that corner off mm. which gives them another couple hundred spaces for the queen to lay which you know I mean it's not a lot in the in the realms of things but it's 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 another something yeah another bit more space so there's a few ball brood so things and they're yeah. actually there's a larva come out and they're actually uh, sucking it dry presumably ready to take it away according to the bbka news this is part of the process of um or can be part of the process of becoming for a resistant ah according to the people that believe it oh look there's a gap there the really? corners come off the bees are coming out mm. we'll have to watch it for wasps later because the little monsters will get in there because they'll get inside the lifts and then they'll go around looking for things like that That's and tough. if it's a small hole wasps will make it bigger because they've got the got the jaws for it that bee there that's uh that's a varroa affected i would say judging by the size oh, of it oh look at how small yeah it's tiny isn't it yeah. the abdomen is really small well, i trying to think maybe from a what a, from a disease point of view i would just consider sacrificing these combs and all the brood that's in them and doing a kind of artificial swarm mm. with this lot or a shook swarm just to save that new frame because there's no brood in that anyway so that's not going to be spreading anything 
and uh, get them to start from scratch. Get them to start from scratch, you know, in a in a clean box, and leave all their all their disease and parasite problems behind them in this lot. Oh, there's one there that's got deformed wings, look, and a small body. And a small body. So Varroa is definitely a yeah a problem for these guys, isn't Varroa it? Varroa is definitely an issue in this lot. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'll put that back in. As I say, yeah, I kind of feel that this is. We might as well um, give them all fresh. Cut cut our losses and surround that one frame with a couple of new new ones with foundation and, and start them them off on three frames in a, add in in. a different box and then yeah put the rest in as they go at a later date. Would we need to feed them to do that? Uh, I don't think so at the moment. There's plenty of plenty of food around. And these are foraging, aren't they? And they're foraging, so they should be all right. Um, and they won't have any brood to feed because <laughs> be a back, big, big brood gap. <laughs> abandoned it in the in the old frames. So um, this suggests that they're what moving it up, hopefully, or yeah. at least any more that's coming in is coming up to the top. Well, it's they will have to move it because the queen will be wanting the space to lay in, so they'll have to shift it. Very often, they seem to run up the front of the hive and just. Just start at the front. Start with the front frame, and then they uh, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of uh, real organisation about <laughs> what they do next. The amount of stores that were in that brew, they could easily fill the both of these supers up in next to no time, couldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that's slowing them down a bit is the fact that that the queen's not in full lay yet. Right, so we've got, that's the dummy board, well stuck down with <laughs> yeah. brace comb. <laughs> so they're actually they're, they're opening up, they're, they're clearing some of the stuff out just around this area. There's a bit like that, like a tick that they've actually opened up, to, drawn it, um, oh, yeah. moved out the nectar to make room for the queen to lay and that patch will expand. This one we've got brood on this outer side we've they've emptied the nectar out of like a oval in the middle of that frame to make room for brood so about that sort of shape and size and the brood in the middle and then at the outside there's nectar and then at the outside of that is this old sealed stores oh, wow um it's good, if isn't they it? If they move all that nectar from down there, that gives the, the queen a, a big area to lay in. Um, so once they've done that, once that's all in use, then I might uncap some of this. Yes. But generally speaking, I do tend to leave um, the top corners as sealed stores because um, you don't want to take all of their food out um, or make them move it because you know there might be it might not it might rain for a fortnight in which case they might be a bit hungry um and if you've just taken the supers off because they're full of honey <laughs> oh, yes, then uh, starvation might occur well, that queen isn't huge at the moment she's sort of doing the business so we'll see um and it might be that the bees themselves will decide that she's not up to it and they'll possibly try and supersede mm. a bit later in the season. Their feeling probably is the same as ours, that any queen's better than no queen. So look on that side again, a beautiful patch of seal brood, all even, no gaps where the wires are, these are the odd, the odd cell that uh, got nectar in it has nectar in it I might even scratch an inch or so off that just to keep the, the thing going um, if I can get the bees off without causing too much mayhem I'm taking them off these ones because they're too big anyway so they need to be the cell walls need to be chewed back a bit anyway but then if I just do about an inch-ish round here 
I mean this is all sealed brood at the moment so the queen is going to step onto this frame find it's all sealed brood and then have to move on to another frame whereas if there's a, a space around the outside of that sealed brood that she can lay in mm. which there will be sort of today and to, to, or tomorrow perhaps then uh, she can lay that up and then step onto the next frame and it makes the whole thing a bit more a bit more systematic and the, the fact is that because of trophallactis the sort of feeding system that they have in the hive where you know everybody gets a share of what food is available um, the queen will get fed extra from this so will the foragers and workers generally so the young workers will be able to produce more wax which we need in the supers on the undrawn foundation there's more honey being pushed upstairs which means that they need more more places to put it and the queen is wanting to lay more because she's being fed more so she's producing more eggs so it it pushes the whole process forward so they'll rebuild they'll repair that comb will they do you think well yeah i mean they they a lot of it they would have had to it was too deep for brood anyway those bits there yeah was too deep for brood anyway so they had to chew the the cell walls back anyway yeah um for the queen to lay in and doing this as long as you're just scratching the surface it's not really damaging the cell walls very much because the the honey that's in there is holding the walls up um obviously if you really dig in then you're going to do some serious messing about um yeah. you know you tear out large lumps of the of the cell walls right back to the septum and possibly through it so you know do it gently but do it fairly thoroughly um and then they'll very quickly sort it out and and the queen will lay in it 